Hey guys, Laura Garicki, GeForce Athletics. Today we're going to do a 20 minute session. The first half is going to be upper body, second half will be lower body. All you need is a set of dumbbells and some water. We're going to begin the session with five upper body activities that we will go through two times. You need a set of dumbbells. If you have two sets, go ahead and grab the heavier set. Each activity is going to be 45 seconds with a 15 second break in between. Um, we're going to start with a shoulder press. So you, if you do have um, two sets, one light and one medium, go ahead and grab that, that heavier set. <clears throat> so we'll start with shoulder press. Um, 45, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll do five activities and then we'll repeat those five. So go ahead and get your hands up in this field goal or the scarecrow position. We've got three, two, one, and you just want to press up and then lower. Up and lower. Make sure your elbows don't go below your, sh your um, shoulders. So press up and then lower. Focus on your form. Try not to arch your lower back as you're pressing up. Keep your back neutral. Keep your feet about hip width apart. So if you're if you're straining to get those dumbbells up there, then they're probably too heavy. So go ahead and drop them and get your lighter set. Just with the shoulder press, you're using more muscles in your upper body than other activities. So typically these can be done with heavier weights. But then there are other activities that we'll do that you don't want to do with heavy weights. All right, now we're going to do a lat row. So we'll bend over, a bent over lat row. We're going to want you on a staggered stance. Put that right foot in front of you, left foot behind. Bend your knees a little bit and bend over at the waist. You're not leaning forward. You just got a slight bend and you're going to row. So you keep your elbows. You start with your elbows right at your hips and then bring them up behind your back until the dumbbells hit your hips. So you keep your arms close to your um, waist or keep your arms close to your body and the reason why we're doing a staggered stance is just to make your core work a little harder here let me show you from the front you see I'm keeping my arms close and this is a row we're gonna do a fly next which is going out so you will need your light your light set of dumbbells for those but again this uh, row, just like the press, you're using a little more muscles. Uh, more muscles are involved in this movement, I guess I should say. Um, so, go ahead and grab that light set. We're going to do the standing chest fly. I actually probably need, yeah, just for the next two. All right. Chest fly. Dumbbells out in front of you, and you just bring it back. Now, my palms are facing toward each other. So, I'm just, like, opening up. A window and closing the window open and close now if you want to you can have your palms down and keep that same movement where you bring your arms out your elbows are slightly bent so it's not your your arms aren't straight they're slightly bent so either palms face down or palms face um, toward each other you're still working the same muscles you're just targeting them in a different way Good. All right. Next, we're going to do standing V-ups. After this, you will need a mat. Um, I forgot to mention that in the beginning because we are going to go on the floor for one activity. So you'll need a mat. So during the next pause, grab it or just pause now and go grab it. Standing V-ups. Start with your dumbbells. You're going to touch the inside of the dumbbells together and then just raise your arms up in a V for victory. And lower. Raise and lower. Make sure you use control with your movements. And lower. Good job. Go up in a V and then go down to the bottom of that V. Up and down. So use control both going up and coming down. Make sure you don't drop those dumbbells down. Now you can, like I said, we've got a pause. Here's our pause coming up. If you need to grab a mat or a towel, grab it now. I'll be right back. Got a 
towel. Okay. Go here. We're going to do up down plank. So you start in your upper plank and go to your lower and repeat. So your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Lead with that left hand up and down. Up and down. Very good. Watch your hip shift and down. So you're watching your hand and your arm placement. Lead with your left. We'll lead with the right next or in the next set. And make sure your hips don't shift too much. You're going to have a little bit of hip shift. And down. Up. Down. Remember, lead with that left hand. One more. Up. Good. Whew. Let's repeat that set. Grab your dumbbells. Repeat the shoulder press. If you need an extra pause, need an extra break for some water, take it. You've got a pause button. Use it if you need it. Shoulder press. Press up. And lower just your shoulders. Your elbows don't go below your shoulders. That up down plank gets your heart rate up a little bit, doesn't it? Good. Press up and lower. Remember to use control. Keep your neck, um, the muscles in your neck relaxed and in your shoulders right there where your shoulder meets your neck. You don't want to feel a lot of tension or strain in your neck, so if you do, you might be crunching up some, or your dumbbells might be too heavy. So you always want to focus on taking care of your neck when you're doing upper body activities. All right, left foot in front, staggered stance. We're going to do bent over rows, so my left foot is behind me. Bend your knees, lean forward, and row. Keeping your arms close to your body. From the side. Just a slight lean forward. And that's just to target your back, your lower back muscles. You'll feel these in your triceps as well. If your, if your uh, dumbbells are a little heavier. Remember to keep your shoulders and your neck relaxed. Shouldn't feel any strain. Keep your movements controlled. One more. Good. All right. Drop down to this lower. We're going to do the fly. Chest fly. And then the V raises. And then back down the floor for those up down planks. All right. So arms out in front of you. I'm going to do palms together. So open. Elbows are slightly bent. And close. Open. And close. Again, you, can, you do have the option of having your palms facing down, or if you want to, face them up. The direction your palms face, just your, just target your muscles in a different way. So you can split it up if you want to. Face down, face up. I don't know if you can see my palms are faced together. Just make sure you don't sacrifice your form. Fool around with your, where your which direction your palms are facing. All right, one more, good. Standing V raises, then we'll be back on the floor for a down plank, then we'll move into our leg portion. All right, so feet are about hip width apart. Start with your dumbbells, um, kind of in a V, lower in front of you, then you raise up into a V, then you lower to the bottom part of that V. Raise up and down. Keep your neck relaxed. Again, if you feel some strain, either you're crunching up, you're scrunching with your neck. Is there a word scrunch? Or your uh, dumbbells may be too heavy. Anywhere from two to five pounds should be appropriate for this move. Lower. Raise. And lower. Make sure you go up in a V. Ah, that was the last one. All right. Let me 
should have your mat or your towel already. A down plank, this time lead with that right hand. Let me show you from the front. Different angle, or maybe the guy angle, how about that? Okay, so start in your upper plank, and then lower and up. Lower and up, leading with the right hand. Watch your form, lower, up, lower, up, down, and up, down, up, good. Down, and up, down, and up, down, up. Keep your hip shift minimal, down, and up, down, up, down, up. One more, down, and finish up. Excellent, great job. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and grab it and then join us back and we'll do legs. The lower body portion will be similar to the upper body where we'll do five activities and then we'll repeat those five activities, then we'll be done. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna begin with squats, uh, feet are hip width apart, toes face forward, like you're on uh, railroad tracks or skis. Butt goes back and away from your knees and your head and your chest stay up, so no leaning forward. That puts all the weight on your knees. If you need help, Keeping the weight away from your knees, raise your toes, point your toes up, and press all your weight into the heels of your feet. Now you can grab some dumbbells and hold them in your hands if you want to do that for added resistance, but all of these lower body activities are body weight, so adding dumbbells will increase the amount of your resistance, but you need to have proper form. So if they throw your form off, that's going to mess you up. All right, alternate forward lunges. I'll show you, I'll hold some dumbbells just to show you proper placement. You can either have them on your waist or right by your, your hip bones. We're gonna go forward lunge. You step with that right foot, go down to the lunge, step back, and then alternate. Lunge, watch your form, especially if you're holding added weight. Step, and then lunge, drop that back knee, step back. Step forward, lunge, step back. Step forward, lunge, and step back. Step forward, lunge, and back. Good job. Hang in there, watch your form. Forward, and back. One more on the left, down, and back. I think we'll finish on the right. When we do that, then we repeat, we'll finish with the left. Um, I'm gonna drop these. We're going to do alternate hip abduction. Remember what abduction is? If you don't, then you need to watch the form clinic video. Abduction is when your leg or your hip goes away from you. So, stand with feet about hip width apart. Slowly raise that leg to the side and slowly lower it. Do the same thing on the left. So, you're going to lift and lower and lift and lower. Lift and lower, keep your foot flex, lift, my foot is flex, not pointed, okay, that's targeting the intended muscles here, slowly raise and lower, so no kicking, all right, that's not going to be good for your muscles or your joints, raise, lower, raise, lower, very good, all right, now we're going to do alternate side lunges, and again, if you want to hold some dumbbells, knock yourself out. Place them out right here or here, or you can just hold them right in front of you. If you still want to work on those upper body muscles, your arm muscles. Step to the right, do a side lunge. Your right knee bends, left leg stays straight. Step back in, and then go to the left. The sun is coming up in the garage, so I hope you can see me. I love sunshine. It does ruin the videos. There's too much in the garage. Whoops, that was bad. Redo, okay? We're gonna redo that one. Left, good. Right, and left. Nice job. So you're stepping to the side, a little diagonal here. 
point that foot out, right, left. Sometimes when you talk, it throws your form off. All right, single leg deadlifts. Weight is optional. If you're going to hold dumbbells, hold them in your hands. You're just going to lean forward like you're doing a deadlift. This is your deadlift, right? Except you're going to do it on one foot at a time. So let's start with the right foot. Left leg goes back behind you. You extend it, lower your hands to the floor, and then come up, and then alternate. Uh, right leg goes back, and then stand. Focus on your form. If you're holding dumbbells, and it's throwing your form off, drop the dumbbells. This form is more important than resistance right now. You gotta get that form proper before you can increase the amount of resistance. Oops, redo. Get that leg back up there. Whew. Right leg up. Oops, left leg up. Good thing that floor is there. Finish with the right leg up. Nice. All right. We're going to repeat those five. If you need to take a break, press pause. Otherwise, we'll just go right back into squats. If you want to hold some dumbbells, grab them. I like to hold them in front of me when I'm doing squats, not on my hips, just not to throw them off my form. So I'm going to hold them right here. Remember, feet are hip width apart. And I like to lower my elbows to my knees, too. That helps me keep my chest and my head up. Remember, keep your, all your weight in your butt and in the heels of your feet. No leaning forward. It's going to put too much pressure on your knees. You don't want any unnecessary knee pain. Just heard the heat cut on. I'm sorry. I apologize for the fan noise in the background. Good job. Hopefully you can still hear me. One more. Great. All right. Alternate forward lunges. I'll ditch the weights. Oh. This is the second time I recorded this video. First time I didn't press the record button. So, <laughs> a little tired. All right. Lunge. And back. Lunge. I tend to do that a lot. It's not good. I guess I'm getting extra exercise doing that. I lose my form after the second or third time. Lunge, and back, lunge, and back. Good job. Watch that form, especially if you're holding extra weight. Step forward, drop that back knee. Don't let your front knee go over your toes. Back, forward, 10 seconds. Lunge, finish with the left. Good job. All right. Back to the hip abduction. I'm going to try to stay out of the sun, the sunlight. All right. So remember, lower. Okay. Not that range of motion. I'm just demoing. If you want to do a little knee bend, you can add that. You need a little bit more momentum. But what you don't want to do is kick. So you can bend and then lift and bend and lift as long as you're not kicking. Okay, so slowly lift, slowly raise. Or you can just not bend. You work on your balance a little bit. You can knee raise after you abduct. So abduct, knee raise. Good. Abduct, knee raise. Go ahead and try a couple. Abduct, knee raise. If you don't like it, just go back to hip abduction. Just control your form. Good. Finish on the left. Nice. Two more activities. Alternate side lunges, and then we'll do the single leg deadlifts. Whew. And then we're done. And I'll see the record button, so I know I'm recording this time. Okay. Step to the right first. Side lunge. Back. Or back to the center. Sorry. To the left. And back. Good job. Here repeat. Right. Bring that leg in. And left. Side lunge, go deep without doing a split. Good job. Working on those inner thighs, a little bit of hip flexion here, some rotation because you're stepping diagonally. Whew, good job. Very good. 
and shoulder lift. Nice. All right, one more set of those single leg deadlifts. I'll grab the dumbbells in case you're using them. Um, but again, if they throw your form off, drop them. So if they throw my form off, I might drop. Start with uh, going with your left leg back. So we'll start with the balance on the right foot. So left leg goes back. Drop those dumbbells. And stand back up. Right leg goes back. Whoops, yep, see, throw my form off. Don't like that. Right leg goes back and up. Left leg goes back and alternate. Stay grounded in that foot. Try not to let the dumbbells throw you off, but if they are, work through it. Just watch your form or drop the weights. Very good. You're going to find that you're more balanced on one side than the other. Finish here. Great. Now, when you're doing anything that involves single legs um, or any kind of balance, you're going to find that you're more balanced on one side than the other. So, practice your balance with the balance video. Um, anyway, great job today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate your company, and I will see you soon.